Hi everyone, uh, my name is Franz Helwig. I am here at the Dorflinger Factory Museum in White Mills, Pennsylvania. We are doing the uh, Dorflinger Brilliant Weekend Show. And I'm going to show you the cut glass items that I have for sale in my booth. If you see anything that you would like, have a question, or would like lar enlargeable photos, please email me. And again, we are at the Dorflinger Factory Museum. If you have not ever been here, it is a real treat. It is the last standing uh, cut glass factory from the brilliant period. It's been fully restored, and there's a beautiful display upstairs. And um, it's really a great place to come and check out the history of American cut glass. And with that, we'll begin in the front. And we have a magnificent, complete punch set in Teutonic pattern by Hawks. In the old days, it was referred to as the Easter pattern. It's 15 inch diameter, beautiful quality blanks, fully patterned cut handle, and 12 matching footed punch cups. And the set is 11,500. Here's a cute cocktail glass. This shape was called Cocktails. It's uh, enameled fighting cocks um, with gilded edges it is by Dorflinger and beautiful coloring in the enameling it is 125 <coughs> excuse me here is one of the rarest punch bowls in cut glass it's shown in the rarities book it's Meriden's rose diamond pattern a true trophy acquisition for a um, advanced collector 64-point hop stars, jeweled centers, two-part, and it's 37.5. There's a huge 25 and a quarter inch vase, eight and a half inches diameter at the top. Most likely Pitkin and Brooks. It has elements of several of their patterns shown in the various catalogs. This piece weighs 30 pounds. Came from a mansion in New Orleans. Um, very fine blank. Excellent cutting, and it is 7,500. And this section is dominated by Clark and Maple City, which is um, was made down the street from here. Here's a 16-inch imposing green cut to clear vase. This pattern by Clark is known as Iris, but Val St. Lambert also cut it as a wet hop star wafer base. Great color, emerald green color. And it is $27.95. It's a 14 inch footed vase in Genoa by Clark. Clark was one of the main companies in the brilliant period. They produce a lot of glass, great quality, um, nice cutting. This is one of their standard patterns uh, or go to patterns, I should say. Uh, it's shown in the small catalog and it is $6.95. It's a beautiful early Clark pitcher. It's shown in an advertisement, but not in a catalog. Um, superb blank, excellent cutting, full pattern cut handle, hop star base, really great quality, $7.95, that's a good buy. Uh, Clark Classic is their prima donna pattern. It's signed, it's shown on page 19 of the 1910 catalog. Pearson referred to it as triple square because of the squares that um, dominate the pattern or stand out, and it is three ninety-five. It's a large vase in Safrana by Maple City. It's fifteen inches tall. It's a very distinctive blank. It's a definitely a Dorflinger blank because typically I've only seen this on Dorflinger patterns. Um, again, it's fifteen inches tall. Wonderful quality, great cutting, and it's $16.95. Very popular pattern among collectors is the Palmetto by Clark. It's shown on page 6 of the 1896 catalog. Heavy blank, very deep cutting, uh, distinctive rim, 10 inch diameter, and it is $8.95. It's a short, bulbous pitcher, signed Clark. Great quality, very heavy, thick blank, seven and a half inches tall. 
This is part of a local collection that was built here starting in the 1950s. There were 82 pitchers. He um, favored Clark, uh, Dorflinger, and local companies. Um, this one's a nice buy at only 125 Another wafer base, uh, corset shape base. It's 14 inches tall, it's a good size. Um, again by Clark, but I don't know the pattern. I haven't had a chance to research it. Um, it is $4.95. Here's a mystery pattern that we can't pinpoint whether it's Dorflinger or Clark. It's a variation of um, uh, block and star or block diamond and star. Good morning. Sorry. Sure. Yeah. Full pattern cut handle, heavy hop star base, great, great quality, $8.95. And we referred to Prima Donna in the bowl before, where here is a magnificent, huge punch bowl, two part. It's got the tall pedestal, so it really presents the bowl well in display. Uh, Again, shown on page 19 of their 1910 catalog, and the punch bowl is pictured. They made these in smaller sizes, but this is the big daddy. Uh, perfect rim, which is rare to find with the castle or dentil edge, and it is 6500 Real trophy decanter. It's in Clark's classic Mercedes pattern. It is 16 inches tall. Has a faceted neck ring, has a wonderful, huge pattern cut stopper. It's ripped, the stopper alone is very impressive. Great cutting, great blank, and huge size. It's $24.95. <coughs> Excuse me. Have an assemblage of cranberry cut to clear wine stems in Russian. Um, Mo Clark, it's not Clark, uh, Dorflinger, Hawks, and Hoare all did Russian, but this is the Hawks version. At first I thought it was Dorflinger, but it's definitely Hawks, Starburst Bass. These are early um, starred buttons, and then they are $7.95 each. Uh, here's a Hop Diamond pattern in a citrine or amber color. Cut to clear. It's by Dorflinger. Has the fluted notch stem, star base. I have about a dozen different colors in these in my personal collection. And this is a duplicate of them. And this is $7.95. Uh, Caprice clone sold last night. Here's a great novelty. It's a very unusual nappy or olive dish. And it's three distinctive different sections. It's signed Clark. I didn't realize that at first. And then I actually found it in the catalog. Um, and it is $1.95. That's a very unique small. Another piece in Prima Donna that's a classic is the Ferners. Theirs are much nicer than most of the Ferners that are on the market. Uh, the triple square, of course, Prima Donna. Uh, the feet are all intact and they are cross hatched. It's shown on page 19 of the 1910 catalog. Nice quality blank, excellent cutting, and it's 275. There's a, a 12 inch tall green cut to clear tapering base, and it's in Chester by Dorflinger, a real rarity. Um, nice cutting, great color. Hobstar base, of course, um, one of the best pieces that uh, I have right now, and it is ninety-five hundred. It's a really great example, green, green, ruby cut to clear bowl, uh, very heavy blank, cut to pieces, deep cutting. They preserved a lot of the color, um, really great deep color on that. I want to say it's Strauss. Um, it, black light's a real deep apple green. Um, not everything about it, it's American. Uh, and it is $28.95. Here's a turtleback ice cream tray. And it is in... Um, oh, shoot. It's Clark, and I can't think of the pattern. 
Oh, El Tova. Um, deep cutting, heavy blank, nice quality. The turtle backs are hard to find. They used to be really, really hot, expensive items back in the day. Uh, it was fourteen fifty. I'll do a show special of seven ninety five, and it's in immaculate condition. Here's a rarity, big flaring vase in prima donna by Clark. Again, wonderful to find one that has all its teeth intact. Very rare commodity. Scalloped hop star base. Uh, it is 14 inches tall, so this is a great example. And it's $18.95. And our last piece of prima donna is the pitcher. Another piece that's got perfect teeth, triple diamond cut handle, um, great blank, ten and a half inches tall, and it's six ninety five. And in the back we have a Desdemona seven inch plate, excellent quality blank, and really nice cutting, similar to Chrysanthemum by Hawks. It's one sixty five. And then a bell, which I think is Clark, but I'm not certain. It's a Dorflinger blank, really nice cutting. Strawberry diamond pattern cut handle, uh, great quality, a really good example, and it's six ninety five. And that'll conclude video one. Thank you, and stay tuned for video two from the Dorflinger Factory Museum here in White Mills, Pennsylvania.